burned by Trump, Europeans ponder how to meet a Ron ultimatum. A day before Donald Trump s the 12th of January ultimatum to fix the Iran nuclear deal, European powers met Iran s foreign minister to show support for it, but the effort failed to soften Trump s aversion to the accord, U.S. and European officials said. The gathering in Brussels may even have reinforced the U.S. president's antipathy, according to three U.S. officials involved in the discussions. Trump instead gave the European allies, Britain, France, Germany, and the U.S. Congress 120 days to come up with a tougher approach on Tehran or see U.S. sanctions reimposed, they said. With Trump warning of a last chance for the worst deal ever negotiated, Britain, France and Germany have begun talks on a plan to satisfy him by addressing Iran's ballistic missile tests and its regional influence while preserving the 2015 accord that curbed Iran's nuclear ambitions for at least a decade. It is hard to say what might mollify the Trump administration, which is split between those who would like to tear up the agreement and those who wish to preserve it and which has said inconsistent things about its demands to keep the accord, U.S. and European officials said. Under U.S. law, Trump must decide again whether to renew the U.S. sanctions relief every 120 days, giving Congress, as well as U.S. and European diplomats, until mid-May to see if there is a way to finesse the issue. But the Brussels meeting has left European powers wary that whatever they agree, it may not be enough. We re going to work in the spirit that we re ready to talk about everything, from the nuclear accord to Iran's ballistic missiles, said a senior European diplomat. But we want to compartmentalize the subjects. We re not going to mix them. At stake is not just an historic accord negotiated before Trump took office by the United States, China, France, Russia, Britain, Germany and the European Union, and one that Europe sees as its biggest diplomatic achievement in decades. A collapse of the nuclear deal could see a breakdown in the relations between the United States and Europe that have underpinned the West's security since World War II, European diplomats and the senior U.S. official said, and could confirm Europe's fears that it could no longer count on U.S. leadership. Britain, France, Germany and the EU's foreign policy chief, Federico Maharini, are adamant that the deal cannot be renegotiated, while Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov also ruled that out this month, speaking at the United Nations. Initial contacts between the three European powers in Washington, European capitals and at the EUS headquarters in Brussels suggest that Paris, London and Berlin will present a package of measures to the United States to allay Trump's concerns about Iran, but that do not reopen the nuclear accord. The strategy could include threatening Iran with targeted economic sanctions if it does not agree to curtail its ballistic weapons arsenal, which the West believes contains longer-range missiles potentially capable of carrying